Hi everyone, welcome back to our ongoing series on how to create a life operating system. Today I'm going to share my thoughts on the option of using Obsidian or some other platform for the purpose of knowledge management in a life operating system that's otherwise all built in Notion. I do a lot of Q&A live streams in my course on Notion Life Design, and this is a topic that's been coming up more and more. So I wanted to share a clip from one of those Q&A live streams where I share my perspective on it, and hopefully this can be the start of a longer conversation where we can explore other software platforms that might be an option to plug into our Notion Life Design system. We can use the comments below to start that conversation, so I definitely wanna hear your thoughts. I'll kick it off with my take on it. And if this is of interest, we can do more videos in the future on this topic, expanding the realm of options for the life design system that we've been building. I also just announced plans for a new course I'm going to be launching called Notion for Teams at notionforteams.io. That's going to be how to implement the Teams version of the Pillars, Pipelines, and Vault system. So if that's of interest, you can sign up for updates on that at the link in the show notes below. I also have a lot of new videos in the pipeline for this channel. I think the next one will probably be on focus, my most effective approach to focus that of course ties into everything we've been doing with our daily action zone in the PPV system. This one will be touching more on the practice of focus as a discipline, as a skill, as a muscle to build. So we'll get into that in future videos coming up soon. If that's of interest, be sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon to get notifications of updates. Now let's dive into some thoughts on the comparison of using Obsidian versus Notion for the purpose of knowledge management in the context of a larger, more comprehensive life operating system. Is it possible to be successful knowledge vault outside of Notion? Okay, that's a very good question. Let's start with that. It is certainly possible to be successful with a knowledge vault outside of Notion. And lately there've been a few people using Obsidian for that. It can be done with Evernote. It can be done with other systems. I would say there are really strong and inherent systemic benefits to having a single system under one roof on one platform. When you start using other platforms for the Knowledge Vault alone, you get some unique benefits of those platforms. Every platform has pros and cons, but you lose the emergence that comes from a single integrated system. And so I would highly recommend at least starting out to do it in Notion, get familiar with Notion, then you can try others and compare it to Notion. But if the rest of your system is in Notion, and then you have a siloed knowledge vault separately. First of all, it's going to be more manual work to bridge between them. You're not gonna have things resurfacing in context as easily or nearly as easily. I mean, that's the reason that I believe the PPV knowledge vault system is more powerful than any other system I've ever seen on any other platform because of the resurfacing in context. And that can only really happen if all the contexts are under the same umbrella and interconnected so that things can bubble up in the right location at the right time and place because they're speaking to each other and they're referencing each other. If you have an Obsidian database, you are not gonna have the resurfacing in context. Now, I will say, so though, so I don't see any real value in doing it in Evernote or Docs or anywhere that's just traditional old school style note-taking. So there is this new kind of note-taking platform that Rome and Obsidian represent. This is sort of the networked thought idea. And there is a benefit to that over Notion. And then there are, well, actually several benefits of Notion over that. So let me talk about the pros and cons of these two types of systems for Knowledge Vault, since the topic came up and this is, has been a popular topic. Getting into the networked thought approach versus the Notion approach. So again, Notion is gonna enable resurfacing in context because you're, all of the contexts of your system are already in Notion in PPV. So that's not gonna be doable in Obsidian. And to me, that right there is the most powerful part of a knowledge vault, the resurfacing in context. But if you are drawn to the appeal of this serendipitous networked thought idea, so the idea of the network thought platforms, which is Rome and Obsidian, and an increasing number of copycats, I mean, Rome started it, Obsidian's a copycat, the rest are copycats. But Obsidian's free and Rome has become expensive, so Obsidian has taken over in popularity. So the advantage is you have, as you enter things, they're effortlessly connecting to other things in the system, and they create a really nice visual network view of hubs and spokes and connectivity across all these thoughts and ideas. It's really cool, and, it, and it's really valuable in that it creates a serendipity where you have ideas connecting in ways that you wouldn't have thought on your own, that you get sort of surprise connections. And really that's one of the real strength of strengths or 
ways to be creative. The central way to be creative is not to come up with really original ideas. It's to connect unusual ideas or what I call unusual associations. And that's really how most creativity happens. So the ability to have unexpected connections generated by the platform is really cool and valuable. The problem is it creates a, a big mess that you can't find what you're looking for. So you get the surprise discoveries, but you don't have a very good organization and it's hard to find what you're looking for. Whereas in Notion, you can find what you're looking for because it's very systematic and structured, but it doesn't have as many surprise connections. However, because it is, does have the resurfacing in context, first of all, it will remind you of things that you had intended to bring together that you would normally forget and you will much more easily forget in Obsidian or Rome because we have this, and this is not native to Notion, this is really specific design and PPV. This is what sets PPV apart from even other Notion systems is the resurfacing in context. So it's going to help you remember to bring in things that you had at one point thought would be good connections, which to me is the single most valuable thing because that's going to also help you be creative. Your previous ideas will continue to live and they won't be forgotten and disappear because the connectivity wasn't there. You, can, you will have some serendipitous discovery through this resurfacing as well. Because when you sit down to work in a knowledge vault topic, you'll be diving into the topic and even things that you connected to this broad category but didn't really think about how to use them by them resurfacing in the context of this topic. And I mean, articles you captured, thoughts you jotted down. You will be able to re-examine them in new ways in the broader context of the topic. So you get some of that. But you do get more of the serendipity in the network thought platforms. Some people value that more than anything. That's fine. That's a legitimate choice. Uh, they are cool, they are interesting, they work well for that one function. The other problem though I see with the uh, network thought platforms is at first it's nice because you get this connectivity, but as you add more and more and more, the clutter in lines connecting all of them becomes just more and more complex. And I have heard from many people who, I, when I was using Rome, I encountered this, and then I've heard from many people who used it way beyond me, that it just becomes too bloated and cumbersome and you can't make any sense out of this incredible spider web of connections. So it also seems to have a scaling limit, whereas our PPV system scales beautifully, bigger and bigger and bigger over the years and years and years you might be using it. So I think that the Notion PPV system has the power that is unparalleled by any other Notion system I've ever seen or any other platform. However, if you really wanna value this unique serendipitous connection, then there is an advantage to the network thought. Now you might use the network thought approach on Roman Obsidian for a specific research project. Say you're you know, researching a topic that's new to you and you might put all of your thinking and media in there and just see how it links together. That's keeping it more contained and that might be a, a more effective approach. And then perhaps you migrate the best nuggets or insights over back over to your Knowledge Vault. I don't know. Then it becomes a two platform maintenance system which again is a problem. That was the other thing because they're not connected. These, none of these platforms have good APIs that connect with each other or any native integrations whatsoever. So you become a manager managing this bridge between them, which I also found cumbersome. So those are my thoughts on that. I don't think you're gonna find a more effective system than PPV and Notion anywhere, but if you really wanna value unexpected discoveries, then you might consider the network thought ones. Just know you're giving up a lot in terms of our integrated system to get that. So always trade-offs. There we go. Long, long explanation, but that is something that's been coming up a lot. So it's good that we touched on that. Good question. I wonder if the API will allow for syncing or if Notion will build a visualization tool at some point. It would be, I hope there's some kind of API integration for syncing. The, I've talked to some developers about this and they say there is a foundational structural difference to Notion and traditional databases and the network thought tools like Roman Obsidian. There is apparently, I'm not a developer, so I can't speak to this with any great depth, but there is a foundational difference in how they're built from the ground up that play to the strengths and weaknesses of each. So it's not merely a matter of Notion adding this feature, which is what I thought it was in the beginning. Some of the features can be added and Notion is closing the gap. Notion that has added backlinks and uh, well, the backlink list and then inline links to other pages, which then form a backlink. 
it's not as good, but it's a step closer and they have other features in the roadmap that will close the gap that differentiates them. But I don't think we're going to have the full, I don't think Notion will ever fully catch up in that regard because as I'm told, there is foundational structure that enables it, particularly when it comes to the visualization. So I agree it would be really nice to have that. Uh, it seems to me it could be done within a single database. It'd be hard across multiple databases, but that's what I'm told. So that's everything I know on that topic. But it would be nice. I agree. The, the further they close the, the gap, the better. And they have closed the gap a lot since Rome first launched. So, I mean, Rome's not getting closer to Notion, but Notion's getting closer to the feature set of Rome. Also, I mean, Rome does, Rome and Obsidian do what? Three or four percent of what Notion does, and Notion does what seventy-five or eighty percent of what Roman Obsidian do. So, again, choose your weapon. How would you create a Zettel system in the Knowledge Vault? I looked at the Zettel system, and it just seemed overly complex for what we're trying to achieve. And I didn't see anything it achieved that we don't already have in PPV. So I know it tends to be associated with the Network Thought applications, but. As I reviewed article after article about Zettelkasten, I didn't see it doing anything that we didn't already have. So, you know, <laughs> it was made popular by this book, Taking Smart Notes, uh, which I've skimmed as well. So, yeah, I mean, you can, it's it's all the same. It's tagging and, and associating notes with different topics. Zettelkasten has various stages of notes and the process of doing this stage and then redoing this note and then redoing this note seemed excessive for me and I think for most people. So if you're working on a note repeatedly, fine, but I wouldn't go out of your way to just be organizing notes for the sake of organizing notes to have this beautiful master system. Work on them as you need to. Work on each Knowledge Vault topic as you have a need to dive into it. If you have a project that requires it or a presentation or or you're just really curious and you want to spend some time on the topic, like that's your recreation is to explore that topic. That's a reason. But I wouldn't be organizing Knowledge Vault topics or your Zettelkessen note system just because it would be cool to have it organized. Like work on each note and each topic as you have a need or desire to explore that topic. So do it as needed rather than as a big maintenance project. Because as a maintenance project, it's going to become so burdensome and cumbersome and such a chore, it's not going to sustain. So use it as needed across all of the system. So there's my thoughts there. Uh, it's a cool system. And if you're really engaged with that range of notes at that level, like you're researching a book, for example, I could see doing that because then you're going to be need to go through them thoroughly multiple times, reorganize them massively. So I could see a Zettelkessen system implemented for a specific big scale project, but to do it comprehensively on everything in your knowledge vault is just way too much. It's too much time. It's too much burden. So, you know, apply it selectively where it can give you the biggest payoff. All right. Great questions. You guys are super on top of this stuff.